So I came across a discussion in the community where some people thought that there is no way the newly introduced standby skill will arrive early on Global Dokkan. The notion was that, listen, since it came to JP Dokkan during, you know, their anniversary, Global Dokkan will have to wait until their anniversary to receive this skill. And I'm just here to explain to you why that is definitely not true and why I actually think that Global Dokkan will be receiving this skill or this mechanic earlier than many people are even thinking. And I mean, again, like I'm not confirming anything, but when I show you what I have to show you, I think you'll definitely agree. And let me know, I mean, what cool standby skills would you love to see in Dokkan? Now I do unfortunately have to catch a few people lacking uh, you know, before we actually hop into this video. And of course, listen, this is not personal. I'm just trying to help you, okay? Be a better version of yourself. And today's, listen, it's just, it's, it's no exception, okay? My wife started her Dokkan account a month ago, and she has over 500 dragon stones. If you have less than her, then you got caught lacking. I understand, okay? 500 stones is a lot, so I'm going to reduce it to 100 stones. If you don't have more than 100 stones in your Dokkan account right now, with the recent Kid Goku celebration giving way more than that, if you don't have that, you got caught lacking today. You got to subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. Again, listen, I'm the making these rules. It's the community catching you lacking I'm, I'm i'm not haven't caught someone lacking in quite some time all right it's you guys catching each other lacking again it is what it is if you have more than 100 stones though you can skip today's subscriber challenge thank you for having more than 100 stones and if you would like to catch the community lacking in the next video you know feel free to comment some subscriber challenges in the bottom or i guess in the comment section let's actually hop into this video so the premise for my argument here as to why i think global dokkan will receive this mechanic early is because we are not used to when i say we i'm talking about global dokkan global dokkan is not um foreign i should say to receiving anniversary mechanics early one example is during the fourth year anniversary on jp um super saiyan 4 goku and super saiyan 4 vegeta uh came out with a new active skill mechanic yeah the active skill mechanic was a new thing during the anniversary literally just like the standby skill a completely new thing um that uh, we've never seen before and this again was introduced during jp dokkan's fourth year anniversary okay now remember that the anniversary for global happens in july but guess what the very first i believe the very first active skill unit on global dokkan was the global first okay um lr super saiyan gohan and LR, basically lr gobros here and they dropped in may two months two months before global dokkan's anniversary so already the argument that we have to wait for whatever reason is just not true it's just not the case okay um they have done it before um and they're definitely you know not afraid to do it again but let's just continue here okay because you can also bring up another anniversary uh which counters this which i think is definitely fair right during the sixth year anniversary uh they introduced you know the revival mechanic both ui and evolution blue vegeta have this mechanic and i don't think no the global dokkan didn't receive this mechanic early so you can definitely use this um, as an argument against the fact that Global Dokkan may not receive the standby skill, right, before um, their own anniversary, which I definitely think is definitely fair to, to make that argument. Uh, but the fact that we have to wait as a whole is definitely not the case, since we've definitely, even, even literally in the past, we've received anniversary mechanics before Global Dokkan's anniversary, again, with this um, active skill here. And of course, during the seventh year anniversary, the big new thing was what, right? The 200% leader skills and the 200 percent leader skills was not a global ex uh, sorry jp exclusive thing until global dokkan's anniversary because if you remember global dokkan got quite a few 200 percent leads before their own anniversary and we have what saiyan day uh maji Majita. we have the golden week celebration here with goku and gohan as well as the transforming cell with their own 200 percent leads and then we do have agl guinea which dropped again right before not right before but kind of right before global dokkan's anniversary so we as literally as recently as less than a year ago we have again saw that global dokkan does receive i guess the new meta that JP Dokkan adopts during the anniversary, but before Global Dokkan's anniversary. Now, the question, right, becomes, okay, so if we are going to see, right, the new mechanic, the standby skill mechanic, when could Global Dokkan 
probably expect that to happen. Now, since right now standby skills are JP Dokkan exclusive, uh, I do expect that Global Dokkan could receive a standby skill during a celebration where both Global and JP are synced up or are sharing that specific celebration. And there's two examples. There's two celebrations that Global Dokkan and JP Dokkan will be sharing between JP's anniversary and Global's anniversary. And one of them, like I already talked about, is Saiyan Day. Okay, Saiyan Day takes place on the 18th of March, um, which of course is way after Global Do uh, JP Dokkan's anniversary and way before Global's anniversary. Um, that is when the uh, unit or Dokkan Fest, maybe even an LR this year, who knows, um, will be dropping on both versions at the same exact time. Now, since this is a unit that's post uh, Global's eighth, uh, sorry, JP's eighth year anniversary, I think there's definitely a chance, especially after last year's unit adopting the 200% meta, I definitely think there's a chance that this character could definitely receive a standby skill. I would not be surprised whatsoever. But let's just say they say, you know what, let's not give this unit a standby skill, because remember, not every Dokkan Fest is going to have some sort of standby skill. Just keep that in mind, right? I would think the next and possibly last possible option um, would be the Golden Week celebration. Now, I will say that ever since the seventh year anniversary, right? Ever since the seventh year anniversary, uh, every single Dokkan Fest that's dropped has had a 200% lead. Literally, AGL Ginyu, right, dropped with a 200% lead, and he was the, the next Dokkan Fest after the anniversary. Um, so maybe you can make the argument, hey, Mr. Baby, look, after seventh year anniversary, Every Dokkan Fest adopted the new meta, which I get is definitely fair to, to make that argument, right? That doesn't necessarily mean that every single character is now going to receive a standby skill mechanic too, right? I don't think a, a standby skill isn't as needed as how influential the 200% lead meta became, if that makes sense. So every not every character who drops after the anniversary i'm telling you right now not every character is going to have a standby skill mechanic i can see that being maybe delegated to synced up celebrations or maybe even anniversary and things like worldwide again we'll have to see but like i was mentioning before i do think golden week is another great potential place where global can expect to see um you know the standby skill mechanic introduced for the first time on their on our version of the game now like i mentioned um saiyan day is again the 18th of March, um, but Global, Do sorry, Golden Week, not Global Dokkan, Go uh, Golden Week takes place towards the end of April, right? the 26th to like around the 28th uh, of April, that last year is when these two guys dropped right here, and these guys did, of course, drop with their 200% lead, so of course, I mean, we'll have to see how this works. Now, many units, many, many, many units do have active skills post you know four year anniversary many lrs do that but even the four the sorry the eighth i'm dude the eighth year lrs don't actually have you know um a, an active skill they have just the the standby skill so I, I could see many characters dropping after the anniversary either having one or the other potentially but i don't really see them having both it's definitely possible right um but now that there's a another skill in the game um, do not expect every Dokkan Fest moving forward to have this skill. They could either have an active skill or a standby skill or just simply neither, right? Well, again, we're going to have to see how Dokkan wants to handle this moving forward. The point of this video, though, is to show you that not only have has, J has Global received newly, you know, fleshed out or, or newly introduced metas or mechanics um, that JP introduced, but way before Global Dokkan's anniversary, but also to show you that there's ample time and ample opportunity for that to actually happen and for it to manifest on Global Dokkan as well. So let me know what you guys think. Again, is there any specific, any character that you can think of where a standby skill would be absolutely perfect? If so, let me know in the comment section below. I can't wait to read those. Thank you for coming through and I will see you in the next one. Take care and peace.